Hello friends. Happy Wednesday. Hard to believe it's Wednesday. And time is going fast. It's also hard to believe that today marks one year since our friend Danny Shore left us. And I've been thinking a lot about Danny today. This is one of Danny's pipes. It's a Bari. And if I can get it lit. I just packed it, so that was just the... I'm smoking a Fora Black Cavendish, not because I like it, but because it's the sort of thing that Danny would smoke. Danny would smoke anything. Uh, he told me that I was sending him something once and I asked him what kinds of tobaccos he liked and he said, I'll smoke anything. I, I could not get a straight answer out of it. And if you watched his videos at all, you know he was just all over the place. He just liked smoking. So I miss him a lot and I've, I've continued to miss him. And this pipe is actually a shop pipe of mine, not because it's in any way inferior, it's because I like to think about them when I'm down here. You know, we traded a lot of a lot of tips and tricks on pipe restoration and I like to think of them. Kind of looking over my shoulder sometimes. The way that year went fast. And in the same, not the same calendar year, but the same 365 days, of course, we we lost our friend Matches, you know, John. John's passing was, you know, pretty heavy blow to, to a lot of us. And Danny's passing was no exception to that. He, he meant a lot to, to many, many of us. Got a lot of I think I need a... Uh, almost. I may have to edit this out. So there we go. I think I told you before the flint loosens up in these, and it has to be tightened. Hopefully, I can keep this burning now. It's a little moist. So, I've been thinking a lot about Danny and, and John today, and you know, what, what do we take away from? From those sorts of events you know, and for me it's just that life is short life is precious never put off to tomorrow what you can do today you know there's a, there's a lot of wisdom in that old aphorism Af aphorism lot of wisdom in it um, and it's not you know it's often taught to children when they're you know trying to parents trying to get them to do some chore or something they don't want to do but it's true about what you want to do too in fact maybe more so you know you've heard it said before that nobody on their deathbed says I wish I worked more But I also think nobody on their deathbed says, I wish I played more games on my phone. I wish I watched more pointless television. Would anyone say, I wish I watched more movies? More good movies? Maybe. 
wish I read more books. Wish I listened to more good music. I could definitely imagine that being a regret. And then all the obvious things. Wish I traveled more. Wish I did more of whatever it is I enjoyed doing. Wish I fished more. Wish I learned to play a musical instrument. You know, the, the, the list is endless, of course. Never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. One of the things that I've thought about a lot during this COVID work from home thing is retirement. Because, I mean, let's face it, this is kind of, I'm sort of uh, halfway retirement in a sense, you know, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to work every day, I should say. Obviously, when I'm retired, I'm going to want to go places, but, but I'm not going to want to go to work. Uh, I've got less structure in my day. Um, I still feel like I'm doing important work, albeit virtually. But yeah, it does kind of feel like a, a small taste of what retirement would be like. And... As I've thought about that, I've realized that, you know, I've always looked to retirement as something, you know, that's when I'm going to do this, and that's when I'm going to have the time to do that. And, and you know, there isn't that much time in the day, it turns out. Um, you know, even setting aside work, you know, there's, there's all the things that I, I need to do and want to do. Um, you know, weed the garden and keep the yard cleaned up and tinker on this and that and, and you know, keep the cars running, all these things. Um, they eat up a lot of the day. Feeding yourself. Getting some exercise. And today I had two, so I had, I had two hours that were occupied on my calendar for work. Now, I did a lot more than two hours worth of work, but it was it was just those two hours that I had. I actually had to give 100% of my attention to what I was doing. And I got up at 6.30 this morning, and here it is, 4.30, I think. Getting close to that in any rate. I honestly don't know where the day went. I mean, I did a lot. I was constantly busy. Retirement isn't going to give me any more time. It's just going to give me one less thing to do. So why am I saying that? Well, what that's telling me is don't put off till retirement what I can do now. You know, too many times you hear the stories of the guy that retires and a month later he's dead. Or the guy that decides to work for another year because the company needs him and then he dies. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop thinking in terms of when I retire I'll do this. I'm going to start thinking in terms of I'm going to do this, and, you know, it's got to obviously fit in with the fact that I have a job, but, so I'm not going to take a two-month trip to, uh, to uh, wherever I might take a two-month trip. I'm, I wouldn't take a two-month trip. I, I don't like traveling, but, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to start thinking of things differently. And I'm keeping Danny and John and so many other folks that you don't know, that I've known. Uh, I'm keeping them in mind as I, as I make those decisions because 
I know that they probably, in their final moments, did not think, gee, I wish I worked another day. That's enough philosophy. Sorry, folks. Battery died on me, and I don't know how far I got. Uh, I was talking about Black Cavendish from Amphora. Um, I th so I got a five-pack sampler from Amphora that included the Amphora Burley, the, the Kentucky, the English, which I try... Oh, I'll tell you in a minute. The English, the Black Cavendish, and a Virginia. So I've tried all of those except the Virginia. I haven't tried it yet. I gave away the uh, English just because it was, it was a perfectly fine light English and I just knew I wasn't going to smoke it. Um, uh, so I, I got plenty of light English blends that I don't smoke now, so I gave that one away. Um, the other three, uh, the, well, the, the, the Burley and the Dark Kentucky I've really enjoyed. I haven't tried the English yet. This stuff, uh, I'm really torn on it. I mean, it's not my kind of blend. It's... Uh, Yeah, according to the label, it's a blend of, of spicy and dark tobaccos with black Cavendish. And I can see where they get the spicy. The dark is kind of lacking, in my opinion. And this could really benefit from a shot of like a dark burly or a, maybe even a Kentucky dark buttered. But if you're the kind of guy that likes Captain Black, you, this strikes me as sort of a more refined version of, of something like Captain Black. It's not heavily topped. There is a slight topping to it. It's not terrible. That's, that's the best I can say. Anyway, folks, I probably have uh, rambled more than enough here, and... Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna let you get back to your to your day. Uh, join us this Friday. We've got uh, solo live stream virtual pipe club. Should be a lot of fun. Bring a pipe, bring a drink, and uh, bring your bring your chat, uh, your your questions, comments, whatever you want to call it. And uh, since it's the day before the Fourth of July, we'll probably have some. Fourth of July holiday sort of themed talk, um, but staying away from politics, of course. And this pipe is now done. So, thank you all for joining me. And until we speak again, I look forward to telling you all again very soon. Have a good one, guys.